to pass the EZ exam with Tutor B Smart. This is my physics exam revision session. All right, so let's do this uh, question in physics. Okay, so uh, the question is just a minute. Figure 8.1 below shows a garden pond containing a small fountain. All right, so this is the figure here. Okay, let me do this. Here's the figure. Okay. Um, figure 8.8, .8, we have a pond, which is here. We also have water inlet and electric pump there. Okay, so now, what are the questions? The question is, question A, the pressure of water increases with depth. Number one of question A, explain the meaning of pressure. How many marks? One mark. So what is pressure? What is pressure? That is the question. What is pressure? All right. So pressure is the force exerted per unit area. All right. So pressure. Let me edit. Pressure is the force. All right. The force exerted. Exerted per unit per unit area. So it's given by P is equal to F over A. Okay, so in brackets, P is equal to F F over A. F over A. Okay, so this is our answer. Pressure is the force exerted per unit area. Then you have your one mark. All right, so we continue on question A of two. Explain why the pressure below the water surface increases with depth. We are here. All right, so the examiner is asking you to explain why the pressure below the water surface increases with depth. What are we saying here? So pressure increases with depth due to the weight of the water above, all right, as you enter into the water. The water on the surface or, or, or on top, right, it increases with depth as you are going down. The weight of the water above, all right, which is given by P is equal to PGH. Okay, so we are saying here, let me, dupl let me duplicate this. We are saying here, okay, sorry for that. We are saying here, we are saying here that pressure increases with depth. Okay, let me just rub this. So pressure, pressure increases, increases with depth, with depth, okay, due to, due to the weight, due to the weight due to the weight of the water above given by p p g h okay so we are done you have your one mark there so you have explained that the, uh, why the pressure below the water surface increases with depth. So the pressure increases with the depth, with depth due to the weight of the water above. Simple. We continue. Question B. Are you following? Okay. So question B. Describe energy changes that occur within the pump. What are energy changes that occur within the pump? So this is diagram here, okay? So what any changes occurs right here? You see the water fountain top there splashing. We have the water inlet, electric pump, then the pond. Okay, so now to the question. Okay. Describe energy changes that occur, that occur within the pump. Okay, so 
what's our answer okay so the pump converts electrical energy the pump the pump converts the pump converts electrical electrical energy the pump converts electrical energy into kinetic energy kinetic energy all right so this is of uh, of moving of moving water of moving water okay and and gravitational gravitational potential gravitational potential energy here to lift water okay so these are the energy changes that actually takes place when the pump is working so the pump converts electric energy all right let's do this it converts the pump converts electric energy into kinetic energy of moving water and gravitational potential energy lifting water or to lift water so we write here to lift water to lift water to lift water okay simple you have your three marks there so let me expand it a little bit oh my goodness okay um just a bit so you have your three marks there okay so we have explained or describe energy changes that occur within the pump. So the pump converts electrical energy and to kinetic energy of moving water and gravitational potential energy to lift water. You have your marks. All right. So if you want tuitions in physics, the numbers are here and my website is down here. Sorry about that. It's down here. Just here. You can get access to our online classes with tutor be smart and um, i'll be glad to help you pass physics with a distinction which is science both chemistry and physics this has been tutor be smart it's bye for now